Hello and welcome to another AIC video. Today I have the laptop I bought for review for this month, which is a Lenovo ThinkPad T495. This has a Ryzen CPU. Uh, I haven't had a lot of laptops with Ryzen CPUs either for review or that I've owned personally. Uh, just a couple. Uh, the last one I had was the uh, Asus Zephyrus G14 which had a Ryzen 9, which the performance was absolutely amazing, but the system was too powerful and it cooked itself and I ended up selling it. Uh, so I wanted to try a more sedate uh, Ryzen CPU and kind of see how it is for day-to-day -day use. I picked this one up off of eBay for about $150, a little less than that. Um, it was supposed to be a grade A, unfortunately. Um, I don't know if this happened in shipping or uh, it if it was already like this, uh, but it is pretty damaged here on this corner. I've reached out to the eBay seller. I try to shut out eBay sellers when um, they when I have a good experience with them. Uh, I'm not going to shout out this one just yet, so we'll see how we get back. But it has a, a Ryzen 5 Pro 3500U with a uh, Radeon Vega 8 graphics. One thing I thought was kind of funny, this has uh, half the RAM is soldered. It has eight gig solder to the system board. I'll show you that here in a minute. And it's using quite a bit of that, over two gigs for the video graphics. What we're gonna do now is I, I went ahead and ran a benchmark. I'll take a screenshot of this so we can do a comparison, but I have another DIMM of RAM. It's a 16 gig. Uh, this should still run in, t in dual channel mode unless we're consuming more than 16 gigs and it has to spill over to the higher capacity of this one. Uh, from my understanding, if I'm wrong about that, let me know. I picked this one. I do have an 8 gig DIMM, but it has different speed than what's in the laptop. Uh, the, the soldered memory is 2400 uh, speed. This is 2400. The other one I have is 260. Uh, 2666 I think I don't know if that should matter um, but I figure matching the speed is probably more important than matching the uh, the capacity because again it should run into dual channel mode until it matches um, until the uh, equal amount of memory is exceeded especially since it's going to be uh, consuming some of that memory for the graphics card if I'm wrong in my theory, let me know. I also have thermal paste, which I need to buy some more thermal pastes, knock to a thermal paste. Um, so we're going to uh, upgrade the RAM, upgrade the thermal paste, and see if we get a better score. Just running down the scores, uh, total score is 1840, CPU mark is 7034, uh, 3D mark is 1218, and memory mark is 1587. Those are the ones I expect to change, hopefully. Uh, 2D Mark really has no bearing on anything, and I'm not replacing the disk in this. It is just 256 gig. If I do end up keeping this, I will replace it with a higher capacity, simply because I need more capacity in my laptop. And so we'll be doing that, but I do have a faster NVMe storage I think I can put in here. Anyways, let's go ahead and open this up and take a gander on the inside. All right, so we have the back open. We're gonna go ahead and uh, take off the CPU cooler here real quick. Well, that was really on there tight. Feel bad pushing so hard on there to get those loose. But they really wanted to strip out. Okay. All right, let's open this up. Gonna wiggle it a little bit. And yeah, that thermal paste looks pretty crusty. Go ahead and clean that up and throw in the additional RAM while I'm thinking about it.
that should be more than sufficient. Fan looks fairly dust free, which is good. Like I give that just a little bit of a squish before I screw anything down just so I, it's not fighting itself. All right, and I didn't really look at this uh, SSD, so we'll look at that real quick. It looks like, honestly, you can only fit a single-sided SSD in here, because that is very flush up against the uh, system board. So all it is full length, this long space of nothing is pretty hilarious. Let's look at this. Western Digital, I see it's 256 gigs. Does it say what it is? Yeah, NVMe SSD. So, don't know if this is, I'm guessing this has no DRAM cache. Uh, so we'll go ahead and put that back. Ooh, that is flat, flat, flat. All right. I'll actually make kind of putting in a different one a little bit harder just because it's Normally you put them in and then they kind of bend down. This one goes just straight in. There's no none of that spring to it. It is nice. The wireless is uh, replaceable, even though both uh, memory dims are not. This is where your uh, WAN card would go if you had a cellular service on here without the fan plugged in. All right, let's go ahead and screw this back together and do another benchmark and see if we have any different results. All right, so we just freshly rebooted. Um, it was doing some updates, so the CPU's running a little bit uh, hot. So we'll give it a second to calm down. Uh, it's showing uh, there's 25 or 26 gigs of memory. It's currently using 3. Point, or 2.6. Uh, funny thing is it has hardware reserve still at two gigabytes for graphics. But if we go to the GPU, it shows it up to 10 gigs now. Previously, it only showed two gigs, which I don't think I showed you, but now the CPU's calmed down. Let's go ahead and run the benchmark.
All right, so let's see what our comparison is. And it's, it's a pretty big difference. So going over uh, CPU mark, uh, we went from 7,034 to 7,831. So that's an increase of 800 points, mm, about 10%-ish. 11 percent ish uh 2d mark i didn't expect to change much uh 3d mark again pretty decent bump in performance we're looking at what about a 600 percent so like a 50 percent increase in graphics performance uh 25 percent increase in memory and a 10 percent increase in disk mark for increasing the memory and um, repasting the thermal paste so that is not too shabby now another reason why I bought this laptop is there just weren't a lot of reviews on this system online and so I kind of wanted to, to, to review it and uh, put hopefully a better review out there than what I've seen uh, if there's anything you would like to see with this laptop any tests you'd like done that are reasonable uh, you know, I'm not going to throw off a building or nothing um, and it doesn't that either I already own the soft game software, whatever, um, or that are free to do, let me know. Um, I'm going to try to resolve the issue with the seller, eBay seller for that corner. Uh, hopefully we come to a resolution and I can keep this in my stable for a minute and do some, uh, testing with it. Anyways, definitely let me know what questions you may have. And I hope you have an amazing day.